right, to do a wall spin, you need to be able to back full off this building. I'm gonna do a wall spin. Do you really need to do that? No, no you don't. You basically just need to be able to go sideways, like in a cartwheel or a side flip or something of that nature. All right, for beginners, a friend of ours taught us a A friend of ours taught us a simple technique to help you get the motion of a wall spin down. Basically, you plant one hand on the wall and one hand on the ground and uh, flip. I'll demonstrate it. That was very poor. Anywho, you get the gist, alright? Hand, wall, spin. Next step. Um, if you're feeling you've got that comfortably enough, always start to plant both hands really low on the wall and then shift because in a wall spin you really don't need a lot of height so I'll demonstrate that Here we go. just tap the wall and put your hand on the ground um, then when you get that comfortable enough you really just have to go for it all right you have to spin keep both hands on the wall and just spin all the way around all right the bail of this really doesn't hurt if you make it all the way around. This is a bail. That's all that'll happen. I can even show you from higher case. That's it. Uh, basically, when you run, you want to take off, typically off the leg that you're most kicking leg. You take off, jump into the wall. You don't want to come directly at the wall. That won't help. You don't want to go too far. Oh god. No, you don't want that either. All right, so too direct at the wall hurts your hands and you don't get a lot of spin. Too far, too parallel to the wall, you really don't spin. You just slide on the wall. All right, perfect. to go at is typically 45 degrees, all right? So run 45 degrees up, plant hands on the wall, spin. Simple enough. Bishop here will demonstrate a wall spin using a 45 degree run in and good hand placement. 